We continue to preview the 2023 college football season, and you know what? We're going to take a step in advance and go on into the 24 season just a little bit because the Simpson Redhawks will not be playing yet in 2023, at least not official games. There'll be some scrimmages, but in the meantime, we want to talk about the Simpson Redhawks football team, and we will do so today with the inaugural head coach of the program, Coach Sean Daniel. Coach, first off, let's just start right there. Congratulations. You were announced back in December, December 14th, as the first head coach for the Simpsons Red Hawk program. Congratulations. Thank you. It's been a dream come true, you know, a chance to be a head football coach, but to be a head football coach of a brand new startup program, which are rare, uh, man, I just praise God every day for this opportunity. And and uh, it's, you know, it's an answer uh, to prayer, literally for me and my wife and my family. Uh, that God's opened up the door to bring us here to my home state of California, where I, I was born and raised. Uh, but to be in Northern California, which is the most beautiful part of California in a lot of ways, you wake up every morning, see Mount Shasta, you know, sits right there in our backyard and, and last in it and all the other mountain ranges and just the, the oak trees and the pine. It's just beautiful to be up here and uh, and just to have that experience. But man, I really feel this is where God has put me, God has placed me and uh, just feel his direction in my life and my wife's life to be able to start the football program, develop it, create something that doesn't exist. So, I mean, that is amazing for me. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear all of those things, Coach. And I kind of expected that to be the description that with the Simpson University, the university logo has the mountain in it as well. And so it's just right there. And, and that's the description I expected for that. You all just hosted a prospect camp. Now, I want to talk about your roster, too, and, and how you're developing the program. But you just had a, a prospect camp just this past week. Talk about that. Yeah. So on, on Saturday, we had from uh, 8 to 12, we had a prospect, first ever prospect camp on this campus. First first time a football has ever been thrown on this campus. I <laughs> get things to put that in perspective. Uh, we had about 75, 80 players, all pretty much local guys. Uh, I'm real big on recruiting local. I mean, I really want uh, within a two hour radius, I want to build, you know, a third of our football team for sure to be out of that. And we had so many players uh, and, and the excitement here in Reading and in Northern California is just, it's just, it's, 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 it's a, 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 no, enormous, you know, the way that they're talking, the way they're doing things, because uh, there is no football up here other than JUCO football. Um, from our campus, you have to drive 11 hours south to hit the next small college. So we can own the, the Central Coast. We can own the Valley. We can own Northern California because these, these kids have no place to go. So the high school coaches, uh, we had nine high school coaches at the camp being there, shaking hands, and they're just – you know, giddy because of the fact they can be able to get their local players playing at home, they're not going to the Midwest, they're not going to the East, they're not going to the South, they're not going to the far, the frozen North. Uh, they're not going there, they're staying home, and that's been a great experience for us so far. Have you been able then to build the roster then? And do you have some commitments already that, that are coming in? I realize that we're a full season away. There, there will be some scrimmages in the fall, but you're not going to play official games until 2024. But do you have com commits coming in? We do. Right now we're sitting at 65 commits. Uh, we have guys in. Out of those 65 commits, 95% of them are California kids. Um and so they're they're coming here. We have 65. And in 2023, we're going to be able to play three games. Now, in the NAI rules, you can play two games and not count it towards a year of eligibility. So we're going to take the roster. Uh, we'll play three games, but players are only playing in two of them. Uh, and then at the end of the year, they still have four years left of eligibility. And so it's, it's just a great way to, to, to sell that, hey, you can come here. You can develop. Uh, you get things going. And out of those, you know, 65 players – 60 of them are high school kids. You know, we, we're, we're building this off 18 year old high school players. Uh, and so they're get a chance. They could be a four year starter, very rare opportunities for you to go to college and start for four years. Uh, and so that's kind of our recruiting appeal and our speech and, and, and getting after and talking to them to get those guys to buy in, to commit to the next four years or five or five years of their life to be able to play. And uh, that's really exciting. But being in the North State, great high school football, great, phenomenal high school football, and extremely under-recruited. And this, so this, this is our state now. This is it. 
<laughs> We're speaking now with uh, Coach Sean Daniel, who is the inaugural head coach for the Simpson Redhawks. Uh, the official season getting way in 2024, but I, I enjoy hearing about the games and opportunities that they're going to be playing. And that really was a question I, I wanted to ask you too. And I, you may have just answered all of them. You're doing a fantastic job. I know that people have been asking you questions for a while now, since you've, you've come to town and people are excited locally, but the, the recruiting opportunities, because yeah, I mean, people, I, I would imagine when you think about California football and you're thinking division one, and of course there's all the realignment talk with uh, right. the Pac 12 and all that that's going on that you don't have to deal with at all. Uh, a lot of junior college play as well. But it's an interesting point, I think, for, for these high schools too and, and what it means for them to be able to send or, or not have to send their kids away. It's, you know, I graduated high school in 1997. Uh, and I'm from Taft, California, a little, little small oil field town outside of Bakersfield. And in 97, there was no small colleges for me to play at. I, I'm, I mean, I'm not a Division One athlete. I, I'm not big enough, strong enough, fast enough, you know, to play Division One football. Um, and then in L.A., there was only Division Threes. And um, I financed We just didn't have the means to afford uh, a non-scholarship Division Three. We couldn't do it. And some D3s are phenomenal. They got great packages. I just – California was so expensive, we couldn't do it. So I left California, and I played my college ball in North Dakota uh, at a school like Simpson uh, because that was the only opportunity I, I had. And coming back here, the excitement I have to say I'm giving an opportunity to high school players that I didn't have uh, coming out of high school. And that's where I find such an enormous amount of enjoyment and fulfillment that I can go into a family's house and do a home visit and say, hey, your son's two hours away or three hours away. I was, I was 28 hours away uh, driving. You know, my parents got to see two college football games and we're selling, hey, you can come and watch every home game. You can be a part of his life. You can come to practice. You can be you can be so uh, involved in what we're doing. And that's a fun thing that I get to sell every day in our recruiting. And kids are just buying into it because they don't want to go to the Midwest. You know, they, 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 don't, they don't want to go to the North and South because their parents can't watch them play. Even though you can go online and you can go through Huddle or Facebook, you have those opportunities, but you're still not there. You're not experiencing that. You're talking to them after the game. And you may or may not get a broadcast or the signal may or may not come through. But here, you're here. You're watching it. You're so actively involved in your son's life. What uh, what will camp look like then as you will be preparing to play some games this fall? And, and uh, what's a camp going to look like? Is it going to be a regular camp like you might think of, three-week camp? Will you have the opportunity to go beyond uh, you know, the month of August into September since you're not actually playing a game? What's that going to look like? So we're, we're checking in a little later. So uh, we're checking in August 21st. They're going to be here. Uh, and we have, you know, four to five weeks to prepare for our first uh, game. During that time, it, of course, is going to be practice. But you understand, to me, it's about one thing, setting the foundation, building the foundation. And I don't have seniors. I don't have juniors. I don't, I don't have the upper class to show kind of what it's like to be a college athlete, what it's like to watch film, what it's like to lift, what it's like, you don't, you don't have that, what it's like to act or carriage or, or, or team meetings or anything like that. They, we don't have leadership. So my job year one is to develop the leadership, to pour into the student athletes' lives more than just X's and O's. It's about developing a culture and environment. Uh, so in the first week of camp, you know, we'll get equipment, we'll do testing, right? but we're going to climb Lassen Mountain. It's 10,000 foot elevation. Taking the whole football team with some local FCA guys, local pastors, local athletes, other coaches. We divide them in groups of 10, and we're going to go on a hike. and We're going to climb the mountain and talk about what it's like. I mean, it's like this is like building a program. It's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. It's going to be sometimes it's going to be beautiful with a great valley, nice, smooth. And the other time it's going to be rocks, and you're going to be using your hands and you're be climbing and you're falling over and you're going to be exhausted. Those are the times. And so we're going to take time and develop. So we're going to climb Lassen Mountain in the first week with our football team and try to lay that foundation. That's going to be a tradition that we do every year. We're going to take the freshmen and we're going to climb the mountain. And hopefully by the uh, the next four years, we got Shasta. That's a two-day hike. That's a little more dangerous. So uh, I got to – that's a little more intense. But we're going to take a, a hike and, and do that and, and, and get the community involved, get FCA involved, get the other coaches involved and say, hey, this is, this is what we're building. We're building for the future. We're building for the next two, three, four years down the road. So when you're a senior – the foundation's done. You're a part of it, and you help build that. You put your fingerprint 
right on it, that mark forever. That sounds so incredible, Coach. It really does. And, and I can't imagine players not wanting to be a part of something like that and the tradition that you're not only starting but building <clears throat> and literally climbing the mountain. I mean, it's not just a figurative statement there. It is a <laughs> literal thing. So that sounds great, Coach. Okay, one other thing then is as I, I hope we get to visit with you regularly prior to uh, the 24 season, and, and we will definitely be keeping up with you. Uh, looking ahead, the uh, the Red Hawks are a part of the Cal Pack Conference and a part of the Cascade Conference in other sports. Not Neither of those conferences sponsor football, um, I know that you would be looking to be in a conference because an independent schedule is, is it's a bear. It's just a, oh, a yeah. challenge in that. What are, what are the thoughts and, and directions there? You know, when, there's not a day that goes by. I don't get asked the question, who are we going to play? Where are we going to play? <laughs> <laughs> Every day. I mean, I go out to a restaurant. They see me wearing Simpson. Hey, who are you guys going to play? What conference are you going to be in? Where are you going to play your football games at? Uh, so number one, we, uh, we're working right at the local high school at Foothill High School to be able to play our games. That's number one, the location for there. Two is we're looking to get into the Frontier Conference. We have made application to get into it in 2024. We, I don't want to do an independent year. I really, it's hard to find games. It's hard to schedule. And then they have all the leverage of saying, well, if you're going to play us, you got to drive to us. And I don't want 10 away games. Um, <laughs> and so <laughs> I want to get into that conference, have that covering that overhead so we can get in there. Now, the Frontier Conference is, you know, five schools in Montana, great football. I mean, they are, you know, Carroll College, national championship football program. I mean, awesome. So there are five programs there in Montana that we can play. And our furthest road trip is it's almost 19 hours. And so it's going to be a long bus ride. Uh, but, you know, get a chance to do it. And then College of Idaho, great. Won the conference. They're in it. They're going to playoffs consistently. So they're in the conference. Then you have Eastern and Southern Oregon that are in the conference. Well, Recently, Arizona Christian in Phoenix left the Sooner Conference and mm -hmm. just joined the Frontier Conference. So we're going to be going from Billings, Montana to Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, so we're going to put some miles on the old bus uh, <laughs> and play some games. But we're in a conference. We have a chance to compete for a conference championship. Our players get a chance to get recognition, to be all conference, to get awards, to get votes. When you're independent, you don't get that stuff. You're, you don't get the accolades for your individual players. You don't get a, a championship at the year, end of the year, and you're not really going to playoffs. And so if we can establish ourselves now in the Frontier Conference, and it's it's a juggernaut now. That's a top NAIA conference, one of the you know one of the best. And to go there, it's going to be tough. It's you know the first couple of years, you know we're gonna, we might be taking our licks, we might get after it, but we're going to rise up for the occasion, get after it, coach them up, and go compete to win a football game. But we're here to build it. We're here to stay and to sustain. And the next five, six years from now, I'm hoping chance to say, hey, we're raising a banner in the in, in, in our stadium. Fantastic, Coach. And by the way, I appreciate you answering my other question about where are you going to play. So uh, you, you've already fielded that question, obviously, daily. So you've got daily. those answers prepared. That is fine. Uh, well, Coach, success to you all then. And we look forward to seeing how you all fare in the fall of 2023. And we will definitely be keeping up with the Red Hawks. Coach Sean Daniel, the inaugural coach for Simpson, thank you so much for taking time with thank us. Thank you today. so much. Hey, go Red Hawks.